Hello friends! In this tutorial, we're going to cover a way to quickly gain stage your regions in Logic Pro 10 for whatever your preferred reference level is. In this example, I have my tracks imported into the session and are routed to a bus titled Mix Bus, which has a VU meter plugin on it. This particular VU meter is a great option called MV Meter 2, which as of the release of this video is provided free by TB Pro Audio. So you might want to check that out if you don't already have a VU meter plugin that you're already using. We're going to use the meter to help us find the right average levels for our regions. This tutorial is not a masterclass in gain staging, although I can put together a video on the subject if enough people are interested. The purpose of this video is assuming that you have an average level already in mind for your regions, and I'm going to show you how to get them to that level quickly. This particular VU meter calls the average level reference level. Some meters call it headroom, some call it a calibration level, but they're all referring to the fact that zero on the meter is indicating the average level that is indicated here. I personally prefer to start my mixes with the standard of negative 18 RMS as my reference level, as a lot of plugins are designed with this as the sweet spot. But as always, there's nothing wrong with using higher or lower numbers if your ears like what they hear and you and your clients like the results. So this mix only has drum tracks. There are no percussion tracks, but the rule of thumb to follow here is the same for drum and percussion tracks. If you are shooting for negative 18 RMS as your target value, start with a peak value of negative 1 dB. It's easy to do this in Logic. We just select the drum tracks, go up to the functions menu, and select normalize region gain. My keyboard shortcuts are set to where control N does this, so I'm going to do this now. Bear in mind that this is a non-destructive process in Logic, which just adjusts the gain of all the regions selected. It doesn't normalize the audio file itself. Now that the Normalize Gain dialog box has appeared, for effect, we want to select individual regions. For algorithm, we want to select peak. And for target level, I'm going to select negative 1 dB. This will get me in the ballpark of negative 18 RMS. For some regions, we will have to lower their gain to hit the target. And for other regions, we won't be able to get all the way to negative 18, as we will hit a peak level above digital zero. Not that this is the end of the world in our floating point mixing environment, but for this video, I'm going to keep my regions below digital zero. Now I am going to click apply, and we can see that the region gain has been adjusted for the drum tracks I'll select one of the tracks, and by looking at the inspector, we can see the adjustment that has been made to this track's gain value. Now we're going to make fine adjustments to each region to make sure that we are as close to negative 18 RMS as possible. Any stereo pairs should be panned where you want them, and then soloed. So in this case, I will solo the overhead left and right. I'm going to double check and make sure that they are panned where I want them and then vertically zoom in a little bit. Next, I'll open the VU meter, and now I'll play a little section to see what kind of adjustment needs to be made to these regions. What I find helpful about this particular plugin is that this number at the bottom right of the meters is the max average level that was reached so I can quickly figure out how much adjustment needs to be made to the regions. I'll select both regions, and then I'm going to go up to the secondary tool menu and make sure that the gain tool is selected. Now I'll hover over one of the regions, hold down the command key, and lower the gain down by roughly 6 dB. I'll click one of the max VU indicators to reset them and play the audio again to check the region levels. I'm happy with where the levels are at, so I will unsolo the overhead tracks. Now I'm going to select the solo option up here in the control bar, which allows me to click tracks and or regions to quickly solo them. I'll select the kick in track and check the level.
It's averaging around negative two, which is fine. I set the peak level to negative one and don't want to exceed this. Next, I'll check the kick out track. I'm going to bring this down about 3 dB. And now it's averaging around zero on the meter. Now that I've gone through a couple, I'm sure you get the idea, so I'll quickly go through the rest of the drum tracks. Now that we have set the gain for all of the drum tracks, we will tackle the rest of the tracks. I will drag around the rest of the tracks to select them, and then I will bring up the Normalize Gain dialog. For effect, I am still using individual regions, but for algorithm, I am going to select loudness. And for target level, I am going to use negative 23 dB, which often gets me close to negative 18 RMS. The only thing to be mindful of is that sometimes the gain adjustment will get you close to your target average level, but can increase the peak level above zero, so just something to be aware of. I'll select Apply, and the region gains have been adjusted. I noticed that I didn't include the bass tracks in my selection, so I'll highlight them and normalize them to a loudness target level of negative 23 as well. Now I'll quickly go through the process of fine-tuning each individual region again. For this trombone, I wanted to point out what I had mentioned previously, that sometimes in order to get to your average target level, the algorithm will push your peak level over zero. I'll adjust the clip gain of this region until the peak level is below zero again. Now my average level is well under negative 18. It's somewhere around negative 26 or 28 dB, which is fine. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting it as close as you can while keeping the peak level under zero. Now I'll finish up with the remaining tracks. Now that I've adjusted all of my tracks, I'm going to give a quick example of why I like to use negative 18 as my average level. 
I've soloed the first guitar track and put a Neve console plugin on it. Notice that when I play the track, the metering needle of the plugin is averaging right around zero. A lot of plugins are designed for the sweet spot to be at an average level of negative 18. A great thing to practice is to gain stage your tracks and then see how your favorite plugins react so you can decide for yourself what your favorite average levels are for your plugins. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you find this tip helpful and that it helps you to quickly get your tracks ready for mixing. Leave a comment below and let me know how it works for you and what your favorite average levels are for your tracks. Until next time.